Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel after a very, very long week of WWDC announcements and events. And in today's video, I would like to kind of show you guys how to build out an application on the iPad using one of the new features announced in iOS 11 regarding dragging and dropping. So quickly here, I'm gonna show you guys a demo of a collage image sharing application. I'm gonna showcase uh, what kind of APIs we are allowed to use now in iOS 11. So here I have an iPad launched with two applications open. The left side is my collage uh, app, and the right side is the standard Safari application, which just looks like this right here. So the new thing with iOS 11 is that you can drag images from a secondary application on the right side by just long pressing it and dragging it into your application that implements one of these dragging and dropping interaction methods. So once you have an application like this where you can kind of drag images around and drag images into it like that, you can perhaps share these images to another person on perhaps your contacts. So what I'm gonna do is to hit the share button, I'm gonna copy, and it's going to copy all of this frame right here, and that's going to allow you to send this image to whoever you like, and I'm going to cancel out of this guy, hit done, and if I paste in my clipboard right here, you can get that image to show up right there. Hit the send, and now you can send images just like that. So pretty All right, so that's pretty much how this collage image sharing application works. And what I wanna do now is to sort of walk you guys through how to build out this application using some of the new drag and drop APIs available in iOS 11. So let's quickly dive into the code right now. And what you see on the screen is the iPad Air 2 simulator. And in the back right here is Xcode 9 loaded with a single view application. So Xcode 9 was just released right here, Xcode 9 beta, and this is the version that I'm using, 9M136H. And you can find this download uh, available at developers.apple.com, and I'll make sure to provide a link down below as well for that. So make sure to uh, use this version instead because uh, the iOS 11 APIs are only available using Xcode 9. All right, so let's move that out of the way there. And what I'm gonna do is to just simply run this application here to make sure we get this white screen like this. And this is only to kind of signify that our application is kind of ready for us to play around with. So another new thing about Xcode 9 and the simulators is that you can kind of resize them like this, which is actually really, really useful. And I'm just gonna put it to around this size right here. Should be big enough for us to see. And what do we want to do? Well, let's pull in the Safari application to the right side right here. So just drag from the bottom right here, you'll get this little dock, and long press on the Safari app, and drag it to the right side so that you can anchor it as the, <laughs> kind of the secondary application for your iPad device. Okay, so once you have this guy up, you can long press on this, and once you have this kind of floaty image, you can drag it to anywhere you want into your primary application on the left side. So you'll notice that we can't really drag anything in here because we haven't really exactly implemented the drop interaction yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do to implement that behavior inside of our app. So the first thing we want to do is to access view, which is the view controller's view. And the view is just pretty much this white view right here. And you can say add interaction, okay? And interaction is this new API that you can use called uh, UI drop interaction, and you wanna construct it with some kind of delegate. And what exactly is this delegate? Well, it's a UI drop interaction delegate, and I'm just going to use cell for this. And when you have a uh, delegate that is self, which is the view controller, you wanna make sure that you actually conform to that protocol, which is that delegate, UI drop interaction delegate like that. And now you can build your project and run it again, and it should be okay. So that's the application right there. And another thing I've noticed is that applications load a lot faster in Xcode 9. Not exactly sure why yet, but it's definitely a nice bonus to have. All right, so what can we do with this drop interaction? Well, if you command click into here, you can click into jump to definition, 
And inside of the actual protocol of UI drop interaction delegate, you'll see a lot of very, very useful methods. And to get all this working such that you can drop images inside of this app is actually very, very simple. You only need to implement three uh, methods of the actual protocol. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the first method is called that we need to implement. And I'm gonna type in drop interaction here and also type in can handle like that. And this method requires us to return some kind of Boolean value. And this right here is pretty much going to say return session, which is this session parameter right here. And I'm gonna type in can load objects. And this is going to take an UI image like this dot self. And I'm gonna run this application now and put a breakpoint on line 20 and show you what happens when we drag in an image into our application. So here's our app right here. I'm gonna drag in perhaps this guy and bring it in right there. And you'll notice it hits this breakpoint right here. So what exactly is this guy doing? Well, it says that it returns true if there's at least one drag item in the drop session that can create an instance of the specified class, which is this UI image dot self right here. So basically, inside of the simulator, because we're dragging an image into our application right here, this is going to return a true for us. So the session can load UI image objects by making this call right here. So that's our very first method. And now we have to implement this second method where we actually update what the session is doing between the dragging and dropping. So the next method is going to be implemented up here. So drop interaction. And this we will use session update, I believe it's called, and get that out of there. And what this needs to return is some kind of UI drop proposal. So what I'm going to do right here is just say return UI drop proposal like that and construct this type of proposal with the operation of, let's see what I can use, dot, and we have move, copy, forbidden, and cancel. So most of the time, and this is what Apple's documentation says, most of the time we're going to use the copy operation and cancel is cancel, forbidden is forbidden. And the other, uh, the other option that we can use is dot move. And dot move is something that kind of represents the moving of this image from this application to this and then kind of removing it from this app. So that's not what we're doing. We're simply copying it. So that's why we use the copy operation like so. All right. So I'm going to run the application one more time, put a breakpoint on line 20 and 24 and see the chain of events that occur as we're dragging our images inside of our app. So let me just drag this guy, put it in there and you'll see that it hits this session right here, hit the play and then it hits the uh, session did update method. All right. So that's pretty good. Hit the continue. And finally to kind of get this image outside of the entire drag session is what this is called is to implement a third final method from UI drop interaction delegate. And this method is called uh, can perform drop, I believe. So perform drop from the drop interaction delegate. And so what exactly is perform drop? Well, inside of this session right here, we can actually grab the image from this object right here by doing a couple of things. So let's see what I want to do here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to say session, which is this parameter right here. And on session, you have this thing called items, which is an array of drag items. So potentially when you're dragging things from one app to another, there can be a lot of different items that you're dragging. So that's why it's an array. And inside of this uh, items, we're just going to iterate through all of these items with a, a for loop like this. So for drag item in the array of items, what I'm going to do is to actually load the image from whatever I'm dragging over to my application like that. So the way to do that is to say drag item and there is a object on it called item provider. And right here you can say load object. Okay. So a lot of new method calls that you kind of have to get used to and you just have to, um, kind of have to see them for your first couple of times before you realize they are actually there. But this right here, load object makes a call so that you can load whatever you're dragging into your application. So this right here, I'm just going to use UI image dot self because I want to load the image 
that's coming from the thing that I'm dragging. And then right here is a completion handler, so I'm going to make that highlighted, and I'm going to hit enter, and I'll get my completion block like this. And the first parameter is the thing that we're actually loading via this load object call, which will be kind of our UI image. And this is the error if something happens that uh, we can't really uh, resume our code from. So I'm going to check the error first by just simply using an if let error equals that error. I'm going to print, you know, fail to load our drag, let's see, drag item and hit the error at the very end of that print statement and just return outside of this load block. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to actually make sure I get my image from this object. And the way to do that is to perhaps use a guard statement like this. So guard let uh, perhaps dragged image equals this object. So object, see this object right here. Let me see if I can show you what the object actually is. So it's an NS item provider reading. And this guy right here, you can cast it into something like a UI image. Uh, if it's not able to do that, we'll just return outside of this uh, load object call. Okay, so now what I want to do with this image right here, this dragged image, is to use it down below. So dragged image is a UI image. And now I can just set it inside of a UI image view like this, let image view equals UI image view, and construct it with this image constructor with the dragged image like so. And then I can add it into the entire view, this white view right here, as a subview. So the way to do that is to just say view dot add subview of some kind of view, which is the image view from the above line right here. And then what you also need to do is you need to set the frame on it. So let me just fix this with a self like that because we're inside of a closure here. And if I run this entire application, you'll see that all this code runs, but then because we don't have a frame yet for this image view, we can't see it inside of our view controller. So I'll put a breakpoint perhaps right here and just walk you through uh, what the uh, order of execution of this code block is. So let me just drag in this guy right here, drag that in. It hits this because it's trying to load the object from the dragged item. And then we'll hit F6 and it goes into this guard block, hit F6 again. And then we now have this drag image and you click on this little eyeball down here you can actually see the image that you're dragging in uh, directly through xcode open with preview you can see the preview image inside of uh, whatever this app is called preview so i'm going to remove that breakpoint on line 23 and if you hit the continue right there you'll notice you get this little warning down here as well so quickly let's fix this uh error i guess it's called and basically this application is modifying the auto layout engine from a background thread after the engine was accessed from the main thread. So basically what that means is this load object call is doing some asynchronous behavior and you need to get back on the main thread. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right here. So this is the call that is on the background thread and we just need to say dispatch Q, I believe dot main and say async right here and this gets you back onto the main thread remember this is in the background thread and this is the main thread so let's cut that put it in there and now what you can do is to say perhaps image view dot frame equals some kind of frame i'll just use cg rect and construct it with this x y of zero zero width is going to be let's see a uh, dragged image it actually has a size property on it. And I'll just use the width and then also dragged image.size.height. And that will be our frame. So I'm going to run this one more time. And you'll see as I drag images from Safari into my collage sharing app right here, it'll actually take the image and then it'll place it in the top left corner right there. So I wonder what this is complaining about now. So UI API call on a background thread. So it says that UI image view and knit with image, which is this call right here, also belongs in the uh, main thread. So I'm just going to paste it in there. Let's run this one more time and then we'll fix the actual XY location in just a bit. 
So notice every time you drag an image, it goes in the top left corner because the X and Y coordinates are zero, zero. So that kind of makes a lot of sense. And to quickly fix this so that it lands where your actual finger or your mouse is, is also very simple by doing this right here. You can say session. So session again is this session parameter right here. And you can just simply make a location call on it with some kind of view. And this view will be self.view like that. And I'll say uh, let let's see center point perhaps equals that. And then I'll just finally say image view dot center equals center point. And basically session uh, dot location. That's this right here gets uh, the point at which you're dropping the image. So let's drop that here. And then that's the center of wherever your mouse or your finger is like that. So that's pretty much how all of that works in a couple of methods that you have to implement on UI drop interaction delegate. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna download the source code for today's project, you can find a link down in the description below. If you're interested in Swift development in general, you can find an Instagram course down below as well. And finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. In the next video, we are going to take a look at implementing the drag APIs and also the image sharing APIs for our collage application. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye guys.